crown a pregnant woman as well is just not something that I would ever imagine anyone doing. An eight-month pregnant woman is tied up and robbed at knife point, and tonight the search is on for the suspect behind this violent crime. Welcome, everyone, to Coin 6 News at 11. I'm Kelly Day. Jeff Giannola is off tonight. That robbery happened shortly before 8 o'clock tonight at a small retail jewelry store right there near 17th and Northwest Lovejoy. Joel Iwanaga is live there tonight. And Joel, eight months pregnant and tied up, how's she doing? Well, Kelly, as you can imagine, she is scared. But aside from being tied up, Andrea Angel was said to be doing okay, traumatized. This is the shop right here. It's called the Little Things Jewelry Store. Again, she is very scared. All this, according to her husband. It really was the scariest thing I've ever had anyone say to me. Police raced to the small jewelry shop just outside the Pearl District tonight, along with the victim's frantic husband. She um, didn't answer, and she called me back about 10 minutes later, crying and saying that she had been tied up and robbed and um, what to do. And I said, call the police. I'll be there as soon as I can. Corey Angel's wife, Andrea, who is eight months pregnant, owns the Little Things Jewelry Shop on Northwest Lovejoy. Tonight, police say a stranger walked in, pretended to be a shopper, and then robbed her at knife point before tying her up. John Rosetto owns the shop next door and saw and heard nothing. To, to see this happen here is, is um, you know, I guess, again, shocking to say the least. For someone to come and do that, it's just, it's sad. It saddens me. Andrea was able to loosen herself and then called 911. But even more unsettling, the robber took a picture of her driver's license and stole her keys, threatening her that he knows where she lives as he took off on foot. To prey on a pregnant woman as well is just not something that I would ever imagine anyone doing. Husband Cordy Angel is thankful the suspect didn't physically hurt his pregnant wife during the robbery, although she was shaken and traumatized. I was really scared that it was worse. And take a look. Here is a description of that suspect. We are told he is a white man in his late 20s. He was wearing all dark clothing, standing around 5 feet 6 inches tall. If you have any information, you have to contact the Portland Police Bureau. One last thing, he had a reddish to gray goatee. Reporting live here in Northwest Portland, I'm Joel Iwanaga, Coin 6 News. Kelly, we'll send it back to you. Joel, thanks.